Hello everybody, this is Tim Brady coming to you from the beautiful campus of Camp Cedarcliff right here in Asheville, North Carolina. It is, um, it is 1025 on August 31st, sometimes that shows up backwards, I don't know why. And the reason I'm sending this video is my attempt um, starting today is to begin a daily update for all of you who may have some interest in what's happening at Camp Cedarcliff. Why would you do a daily update for a camp when you're not in camp season? We just finished. A great, great question. I would be asking the same thing. And here's why. 2020 marks um, 30 years that I've been doing ministry, specifically been doing ministry focused on young people. And the reason um, I'm starting this video on August 31st is because I look back over 30 years and I've now had the privilege of seeing when God was taking us into a season and recognizing that there is no way this is going to happen unless God does something great. But do you realize this past summer, with over 70% of camps in the nation having had to shut down because of COVID-19, we were able to continue to have our camp, even though we didn't do our overnight camp, we had our, our day camp. And with nearly 650 campers this summer, nearly 70 s summer staff, we did not have one case of COVID. We did temperatures, we did all of the hand washing stations, we did the mask, we did the, the, the separation, the distancing, we put up the signs everywhere, um, we were cleaning surfaces constantly all summer long, and we had zero cases of COVID this summer. In March 15th of 2020, we weren't even thinking we were gonna have camp. And you kind of think, okay, here we are, August, 2020 and uh, tomorrow, September 1st, it's done, right? You like survived. So you, good job. You did it. You, you had five weeks of camp. And when most camps, even the camps that decided to have camp ended up having multiple, multiple cases of COVID-19, we went without any. So, hey, great job. You survived. Well, here's the problem. We had five weeks of camp. We normally have eight weeks of camp and those are resident weeks of camp. Well, we didn't have resident camp. We had five day, five weeks of day camp, which brings in a, a little little more than a third of the revenue per camper that our our resident camp does, and and over seventy five percent of our yearly budget comes from two months of the year, and those are the two months that were impacted. And I'm telling you all that to say that we're not out of the woods. In fact, I'm having a meeting today at two o'clock with our entire full-time staff, and we're going to talk about what does it look like for Camp Cedarcliff to continue in the future? How are we going to do this? In September 1, tomorrow, we have enough money in the bank to be able to pay payroll for September 1st, and then we're at zero. I'm being extremely transparent with you, but I have the sense that something great is about to happen. It's just the fact that in 30 years of ministry, I've seen God do it. We're getting ready to go into some days where we've got hard calls to make. And to be honest with you, I don't think, I think there's a really good chance that Camp Cedarcliff doesn't exist after 2020. And I'm sharing that with you, and it sounds like I'm not very optimistic. It sounds like I'm uh, maybe I, I just have a bad attitude, but I don't. I feel like that God could step in and do a miracle. Do you want to go on a journey with me? And do you want to see what happens when an organization says, we don't know how we're going to do this, but we're going to step up by faith and we're going we're gonna to ask God to do this. 2021, is it going to be the biggest year of camp because kids are just ready to get out? This is a faith walk. And we're claiming scriptures like 1 Corinthians 10, 31. We're claiming scriptures like Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not in your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge God, and he will direct your path. This is me just telling you I'd love for you to come along the journey. Ultimately, I just want to give God the glory 
for what we're about to see happen at Camp Cedar Cliff. Because this is his ministry and this is his vision. And we've attached ourselves to some promises of God. And, um, and I'm just praying that kids' lives are impacted for years and years to, and years to come because we were faithful during this time. So um, I'm inviting you along, and I'm praying that God gives you guys encouragement from this. We thought that it was just going to be this past spring. We thought if we could survive this summer, it would be great. But COVID-19 has literally put a stop on our revenue stream starting tomorrow. And really, as a camp, we don't have revenue stream until March 2021 for the summer of 2021. And so how how is this going to happen for September, October, November, December, January, February, March? I don't know. And this could be maybe one of the saddest video vlogs ever posted on YouTube. But it also might have an opportunity to watch God in some really tiny ways and in some massive ways show up and do something great. And so I'm hoping that's the case. I have no idea what this is going to look like, but I encourage you to stay tuned. It's going to get really, really interesting. Pay close attention. We'll see you.